Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 876. Hey, if you want to download this workbook or the other workbook that goes along with this video, GL Accounts, click on the link below the videos. In this video here, we have a table with GL numbers, our dates, our debits, and our credits. And over in a second workbook, we need to summarize. Now, for every summarization calculation, we're actually going to do all the debits minus all the credits minus all the debits. We need we have two criteria. In this cell, we need to go find all of the GL account five tens over here. And once we find with that criteria, we then need to further isolate and say, are all the dates less than or equal to this? Now in this case, we have our five tens and all the dates are less than 427. When we get to uh, 565, we have some dates down here that are greater than, so those will be excluded. So we have two criteria, but then we need to take all of our credits and subtract our debits. Now one further um, requirement, we would like this to automatically update as I add new records here. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a table. In 2007 and 10, you use Control T. In uh, earlier versions, uh, 2003 only, you use Control L. Now be sure you have one cell selected and then Control T. It asks you, uh, is that the range? Do I have my headers? Yes. Now we will two things will happen these ranges are dynamic so if I come down here and add a new record the formulas in the other workbook will update and secondarily we'll uh, get what's called table formula nomenclature and uh, that just means when we do a column uh, it looks like GL. Now, when we make our formula, it's actually going to say table 1 and then GL because that's the name of the column and it's dynamic. I don't want it to say table 1, so I'm going to name this. I'm going to click inside the table, go up to table tools, design, and then up here I'm going to say GL accounts or table or whatever, enter. All right. So now we're ready. We're going to go over to this other workbook. Now, we're summarizing with two criteria, doing a calculation with two criteria. We probably could do two sum ifs functions, add up all the credits and then subtract all the debits. But I'm just going to use sum product. Not only will we avoid using two different functions, but sum ifs. If you close this workbook, then the calculations don't calculate over here. Whereas the formula we're going to do with sum product will always calculate whether the workbook is closed or open. All right, so sum product. Now, sum product will take uh, arrays, multiply them, and add them. So what we're going to do is we're going to get an array of uh, ones and zeros every time we find a record over there that's equal to 510, an array of ones and zeros every time the date over there is less than or equal to 427.12, and then the third array will be the subtraction of two columns. They'll all get multiplied only when there's a 1-1. One, one. Will it do the calculation? All right, now we're going to do logical formulas. So for example, I'm going to say, is that equal to the column over there? And it's going to deliver a bunch of trues and falses. That won't work inside of some product. We need to convert them to ones convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros. So double negative will do that. Open parentheses. And now you say, is that equal to? Now when I go, we'll, we'll, I'm going to control tab and highlight this uh, GL column here. Now I'm going to control tab back over. You could see our formula right there. Now notice what it did is it has the name of the workbook in square brackets start explanation point, and then the GL accounts, that's the table name, and the column name. All right. Now, that's our first array right there, comma, double negative, open parentheses, and then we want uh, this date, and this date has to be bigger than or equal to, control tab, this column right here, control tab. And so there we have our uh, workbook sheet and a table and field name. So close parentheses on that. Well, that's too bad. Why isn't that showing up? I'm going to enter this. Okay, so there we go. Um, backspace, we have just two arrays. Oh, what did it do? What did this do when I went like that? It just says there's four of them. There's four records that meet the criteria. 
F2, backspace, comma, and then the third array, I'm going to go back over, control tab, and I'm going to say credit minus debit and then close parentheses on the sum product. Enter, and I'm going to hit F. Uh, go back and put it in edit mode. So the actual third array here, we just do our subtraction. You don't need parentheses around it. And that will uh, do it. So we have 8,001. I copy this down. Ah, we forgot to. This date needs to be locked with the F4 key. Control Enter. Copy down. So that seems to be working. If we go over and we do it manually, you'll see that, uh, sure enough, the 65s uh, did I get it right? 65, 65, 65. So there's 1,000, 1,000, yeah, 500. So, and then the, this one right here, the only account. We only have one transaction for that. So that is working. All right, we'll see you next trick.